hi guys welcome back to my channel I'm giving you morning face again this this morning all I have on my face this morning is some vitamin C and and some cocoa butter on my lips cocoa butter stick by Queen Helen yeah yeah, I use this all over my body. So I'm putting in a protective style, guys, because I'm traveling. I'm actually leaving today, and I'm going to be in Costa Rica for a week. So I don't want to be bothered with my hair. I wanted to put in passion twists. Moments like this, you realize how small our island is. I can't find um, the free choice here anywhere hair salons are charging like 14,000 to do it plus the beauty supply stores they sell it expensive and you know I'm just like it's ridiculous I'm not going to spend so much money to braid my hair I'm just not gonna do it one I think the salons they can afford because I know how beauty suppliers mark up they mark up sometimes 80 90 100 over a hundred percent they mark up the salons they can afford if if they're purchasing the hair from the same place they can afford to sell it at a cheaper rate so that you don't have to pay fourteen thousand dollars like it's ridiculous fourteen fifteen thousand dollars for some braids no ma'am i ain't doing it i just said you know what let me go back to something old i did these like maybe seven years ago yeah probably i did these I, I have the video still on youtube i think it's i think it's called havana twist or something but i did this very same thing that i'm gonna do right now i already twisted up most of it and i'm just gonna show you the last bit this is what i used marley hair i got this pack from cherries hair and more this one is rasta marley in 1b I used three packs because I bought four. This is the last one left and yeah, three packs can do it. Well, in the size that I'm doing it, three packs can do it. I use the Curls Berry Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In. I use the Lotta Body Wrap Me Mousse for extra hold. I use the, the Eco Styler Gel in the green. Just two pieces per twist. The leave-in is already in. Let me just wet it up with the mousse so that I get everything smooth. And then I'm gonna add some gel starting at the root because that's where I want to, I want all of it to hold because I don't want my hair to start frizzing through it. So um, I put some to the root because I want the root to stay neat, split it. I start twisting like this. I, I realize I twist different from most people. I twist in the other direction. That's fine with me. <laughs> most people twist in the other direction apparently. So the middle of it now, I rest it right in the middle of the twist, right? And I start twisting in the same direction now one twist this way the other twist the other way so you twist in like this which is not easy for me to do I can do it but I get it neater when I hold one side and twist one side first like I do this twist one side Hold it and do the other side. Okay, and once I feel like the hair is nicely twisted into my hair, right, I start twisting. I think they call this the rope twist method but I like it because it makes the twist look really like invisible it looks like it's growing from your scalp I hope I'm catching this all on camera <sighs> yeah, it makes it look 
like it's growing from your scalp. It looks like your hair. Then I pump a little more of the mousse. To make sure my hair isn't kinking out and it's blended in. I don't want to see my hair. Even though this is Marley hair, it's kinky, so you can you can hardly see your hair through it. And the good thing is my hair isn't colored, so. It, um, it will blend right into the hair. My natural hair color is maybe about a 1B or a little lighter than a 1B. Yeah, so this protective style is really easy for me. So I just said, let me get some Marley braid and put that in. I'm sorry. I will do the Fulani braids one day because those are actually cheaper. One day hair is cheaper. But even this to me is like a little bit, well, not expensive. No, let me not be cheap. It's $750 per pack. But just on here, I mean, just on here, and this is, it's plastic. You spend um, $3,000 for four packs. But tell me how you guys feel about these, um, these braid hair, you know, that they're selling to us. So it's synthetic hair, it's not even human hair. Why is it so damn expensive? Because there is a hairstyle that is trending now and so the price of the hair is like doubled. That's crazy. They know that you will buy. And then there are the other businesses. You know what I don't understand with other businesses? Like, okay, so your competitor is pricing at a price you you know because you can say that your competitor's price isn't fair but because you want to cash in on that hundred percent markup too you just go ahead and do it like some people just have no fucking ethics like none and at the end of the day nobody is thinking about the com the, the um the consumer right because the GCT, everything, all the costs, everything is passed on to the con the consumer, everything. So everything that happens in the business affects the price that you get. And if some fuckery happens in the process of getting the product to you, you pay for it. <laughs> the hair supply store they will always make sure that they get their profit. No matter what, they're gonna get their profit. The only way they will make an adjustment is if they see that the price is gonna be like way too high and you may not buy it. But yeah, these natural hair salons, they're ridiculous, like ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think they can afford to do the braids cheaper. $14,000 is ridiculous. Ridiculous. So I suggest that you find another option if you can. Okay. All done. I'm gonna take pictures so I can show you guys, you know, fully what it looks like. But I wanna give you a microwave. <laughs> The ends aren't like perfect. They look weird, but I'm okay with that. 
some easy braids guys that you can do yourself I know not everybody is gonna be able to do and that's why you have products because everybody isn't able to help themselves I get that completely so there needs to be somebody who can do it for them or somebody who can sell it to them we're not all um, DIY type of people just not so I get that but for the ones out there who are and you know are willing to spare themselves fourteen fifteen thousand dollars I'm sorry I'm not that girl I was talking to somebody on Instagram about it she made me feel like I was being cheap or something and then somebody else came and agreed with me and she told me that no all her friends and her people think the same thing so I'm not crazy in thinking that these hair salons are ridiculous with their pricing so yeah unfortunately we most of us can't do it ourselves so let me explain this because this might help somebody what I did to make it easy for me in terms of parting when I when I, I you guys should have seen my um, detangling video already and I show you how I detangle and I put my hair in four sections so that's basically what I did after I wash I put it in four sections two to the front two to the back and then I split I cut that down so this is one section and then I split it in two again and then I cut one section into four and then I cut one section into four and then I put it in that way that made it easier for me to do it so you guys can consider that if parting is a problem and that's it guys so I'll see you in the next video whichever one that is I have quite a few videos that's, that's that needs to be edited so we're gonna edit those and put them out soon so I'm gonna take care of myself